Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 10 of Delicious Party Pretty Curious. It's gotten good started in three, two, one, go. There we go, better. I do kind of wish that I watched this at three o'clock in the morning, but I fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> yes! Probably all of them. Mm-hmm. Oh, but we get the weapon today. I did see like a little preview last night. So I was just like, okay, that's the only thing I'm going to look at. I ain't going to look at anything else. But it's cute. I like it. It's still, as we said last week, a gun. In my opinion, because it looked like one. So. Juicy mixer. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, you question everything now. Oh.
<laughs> Are we going really early tonight this week? Oh, never mind. <laughs> that looks so good. <gasps> Look at the pudding! <laughs> I know. Yeah, but can't y'all put two and two together? You know, student council president, bad guy. Baby just, she has her walls up and she's just keeping them up. She will, slowly but surely. It's just going to take time.
Cool. Yeah, but this one's a little bit different than that first one. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, finally! Room transformation! Let's go! <laughs> I forgot about that! And there goes my dog. Cody! We're going to talk about the pose thing at the end of the episode, but if you follow me on Twitter, you know what I said last night, because I was, mmm. And how I'll even link it when I upload this episode. <laughs> Well, we know that's not going to hold. That's not gonna work though. I mean, we we need the mixer for a reason. Mm mm. That darkness out of out of gentle that's coming out of her. That's like mm mm overpowering the crap out of it.
I just love the fact that her real self is slowly but surely coming out every single week. Oh my, but it's only week two, but still. So you tell me the rest of you just give them the mixer? Uh, so we doing it very similar to um, Go Princess. Mm -hmm. And we gotta wait two more weeks to see y'all's. <laughs> No, oh, you'll find out soon enough. Just not now.
like is it bad that I feel like dude is what's his is Yui's guy friend or her boyfriend best friend dude him because we see him on and off and it would make the most sense for him to be next in order for him to be the quote unquote tuxedo mask character that we're getting oh buddy Mm-hmm. Can you make juice with that? Uh, mm-mm. Yeah, I still think she's coming early around. Like, we might see her turn into her final cure at least before episode 20. Because, like, okay, compare this. Let's compare her to Laura. How long did it take Laura and Cure Cosmo to officially get their powers? They're, like, the earliest cures for this. And so, what I've seen and remembered with this series, currently looking at the last few seasons, is that we're now getting cures a lot earlier, which I ain't mad at it. No, I like it. But something tells me, like, in the next few weeks, like, give it maybe, like, five to ten weeks from now. So, 15 to episode 20. Maybe even 23. So, probably still by October. My birthday month. I'm not 100% sure on that. But, yeah. I mean, the episode was adorable. It was sweet. I'm glad that we got to see her walk around more as a student council president and seeing her life a little bit. And then, you know, her going back and forth between her regular life and gentle. Very interesting. But still, I want to know if What's-His-Face is also Yui's best friend. We need to know. Because he looks like him without, like, the side ponytail that he has. So, it's just like, is it? Is it not? Because, you know, one minute Yui's friend is there, and then the next minute he's not there. So, something's a little fishy about that. And I think I'm right on that. And maybe a lot of people have also made that guess as well, but who knows? All right, so let's talk about um, <laughs> the elephant in the room. Okay, well, hold on. Let, let's see the preview to next week, and then we'll talk about the elephant in the room. Okay, so the elephant in the room. The pose for Delicious Party Pretty here for these three. I like it, but I don't like it. It's an okay pose, but when you're looking at, like, all the poses for the last, like, from Futariwa all the way to Tropical Rouge, like, this pose with the three of them just standing there looks kind of basic. And, because, yeah, like, that's what I immediately thought of when I saw it last night, around, like, I think 11 or 10 o'clock at, at, at night last night, I was just scrolling on Twitter, and then next thing you know, I see it, and I'm like, yeah, this is a little basic, it's okay, it's fine, but I feel like it's, it's gonna be a little bit better once our final girl comes in, because usually, like, let's look at, like, okay, so, like, Kitty Kitty Pretty Girl, the mode, freaking Star Twinkle, Healing Good, um, Tropical Rouge, Go, uh, Go Princess, Ish, they have the best group poses and such. You don't always want them to be them standing there looking like this, like superhero ass. I get that. That's nice. That is a simple pose, but it's also basic. And, but then when you look at, like, Gold Princess and the rest of the ones that have really good poses together, like, yes, that's good. I like that. But I'm hoping that when our final girl does come, it, it's a little more better and such. It just, like I said, it looks basic. 
it, it's almost like they were sitting there in the room when they were, you know, coming up with this episode and the group transformation and stuff. They were like, okay, what pose should we give these girls? Okay, the basic poses of basic poses, just standing there with their arms on their shoulders, and that's it. I, I was expecting them, like, <laughs> somebody did a, a really funny meme of it last night. They took, um everybody's initial pose that they do at the end of their like little uh saying and they took spicy and yum yum's pose and they put them like together and it looked so freaking weird but interesting and i was like okay why couldn't we have something like that like that would have been really really interesting but no so yeah here is hoping when our final girl does come between you know episodes now to episode 25 that the pose is a little more you know grand scale on it uh, just you know fingers crossed it but yeah the episode was really enjoyable i loved it for what it was the mixer is cute i'm ready to see you know what yum yum and spicy also have for their you know when it's their time so of course we're going to see that in the next two episodes which i was expecting like a group one for all three because since it's something they all got together you're like okay we're finally getting the first team you know power up together and the first, you know, team attack together rather than doing separate. But something tells me we're not going to see it until we see the separate attacks of all three. Then we get that one. And then we get an even grander scale when the final girl come, comes up later on in the year. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view to, uh, towards episode 10 A Delicious Party Pretty Cure. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday, Sunday for episode 11. Bye, guys.